We're going to take a break uh, from politics for a minute to focus on something a little more fun, and that is cooking. And you realize that every time you step into the kitchen, when you cook a meal, you are actually becoming a scientist. Well, the Dancing Man Scientist joins us again this morning to explore the chemistry of cooking. And this morning, it's... Um, it's uh, I can't remember. caviar. We're caviar. making artificial caviar. Caviar. We're doing some gourmet cooking. Do you uh -huh. know that you can actually make artificial caviar? No, I never thought of that. All right. Well, it's actually pretty simple. And today we're gonna okay. we're gonna do it together. You can really use any liquid food product, and you basically use uh, a chemical called sodium alginate. It's a seaweed extract, which um, you can pretty much buy at the grocery store. And I've added it here to an Oreo puree. You know, some unique foods. Mm -hmm. And all you do is you take your liquid containing the alginate, and you add it to water containing some calcium. So this one is just, just me. And it forms a gel. But that's not, oh, the, yeah, that's not the most interesting part. See, what happens is it, it only forms a gel where the two, uh, the two liquids interact. Okay. And so it forms a gel on the outside, and the inside should still be liquid. Mm -hmm. And I can actually try to show you that oh. here. So the inside will still be liquid. By putting that there. And then if we chop this like that, you can see it's still liquid on the inside oh, there. Yeah. There you go. So we can actually use this technique to make caviar. And so you're going to be making hot sauce caviar. Oh. And I have a puree of Oreos here okay. to uh, make some caviar. So we just take our, our food product liquid, mm -hmm. and then we drip it in to our calcium solution here. Oh. And there is some technique involved. Yeah. You want to try to get um, these as spherical as possible. Mine seems to be coming out more like a chocolate oh. chip shaped. Oh, mine are perfect. Those look great. And these kind of fit the color of, of my liquid. So the chemistry happening here is actually called electrostatic cross-linking. And basically, the calcium in this water here is replacing the sodium ions, which causes twice as much electrostatic interaction between the molecules. I was going to say that. Great. Well, basically, that makes the molecules be less able to move around, and it forms a gel. So it's actually electrostatic forces that are helping you make caviar today. That is cool. So how you doing there? I'm, I'm not, How's your not technique? too bad. Well, well, it's a little off, but I'm still, I'm still, uh, I think, getting it, getting it done here. Okay, we have a minute left, so let's. All right. So, so all now, we do now is we just take this out here. And we're going to wash them off. And we wash it off to to stop the reaction, and then we just add it to our stockpile here. Great. Now I'm going to be serving mine over some strawberry yogurt, oh. just like that. And I, for you, I you have the good stuff. Sorry, sorry. I have a tortilla with some uh, cream cheese. You said it was stale, though. I know that was your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you can try some of this if you like. But um, there we go. We're, we're learning about some food science. Here, I'll put some. And of course, it. the best part of food science is you get to taste your creation. Okay, you go ahead and taste yours, and and uh, oh yeah, mmm. Oh, good. <laughs> Yours looks pretty good. You want to try this one? No, oh, that's all right. I'm not uh, what well, I'm anchoring of, you know. <laughs> like driving, you know. Well, thank you. No that problem. That was very good. That was a, so we're doing science every time we step into the kitchen. Absolutely. Okay. All kinds of chemical reactions happening. Hey, if you want more chemical reactions, and you can see uh, Jeff, want more information when uh, he'll do this kind of stuff in public, go to uh, dancingmadscientist.com. That's all right. right. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having a lot. Me. That was very good. Great to be here. Okay, we'll pass the, the cabri around. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Traffic and uh, some other stuff coming up.